wonder how messy we're really going to get when they give me an apron. <laughs> <laughs> Step back. Jack. Watch out. Happy, this could be fun. <laughs> happy Watermelon Day, uh, Lisa Van Gammert from Mensa. Delightful to see you again. Nice to be here again. Thanks for having me. Celebrate Watermelon Day. Watermelon Day. Who knew? I know. And there's lots of fun things you can do with your kids, right? Lots of fun things. In fact, of course, being from Mensa, I had to bring a watermelon brain. Yes. And this is easier to make than you might think. In fact, I'd like you to try. Okay. It's best to use, if you're going to carve watermelon, use one at room temperature. They work better than cold. Okay. And then these Y vegetable peelers work much better than a regular one. So you can you try it. Go ahead and okay. you'll see how easy it is to actually peel the watermelon and you're on your way to well, a Well, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Got it? Got it. Yeah, it may not be the best peeler. <laughs> Maybe an adult activity. Yeah. Well, it <laughs> You'll end up with a brain. Well, you kind of got to dig in. Oh, oh you got to get tough with that You're the kind of gentler anchor. <laughs> I was trying to be nice to the watermelon. Nice to the watermelon. And you told us the entire watermelon is edible. The entire watermelon is edible. You can make pickled rind. Yeah. Oh, you really? can eat the seeds and explorers used to use them as a canteen because they're 92% water. Huh. Although what most people don't know is they're actually a vegetable related to cucumbers and pumpkins. Oh, really? yeah. And so Texas, by the way, one of the, one of the ma number three as far as watermelon yes. producing states. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. Behind Florida and California. Okay. So that's, you eat a lot of well, watermelon. That's cool. I like that. Crafts can, with watermelon. Yes, crafts with watermelon. You don't actually have to have a real watermelon to do it with it. So, in fact, this little piece was done by my three-year-old goddaughter, Carson. So it, it can be done by Good job, Carson. Young children. So what you do is you just take uh, regular acrylic paint, and if you don't have that, you can mm -hmm. actually make paint with just Kool-Aid and water, and then your watermelon will smell like a watermelon oh, as well. Oh, that's a cute idea. So if you will take it, I would like you each to make one. Sure. You dip just a piece of regular household sponge in the green. Okay. And use in that the green in the green paint frizzle. to make the <laughs> rind along the edge of the plate that yeah. is wavy. Right. And then you just take the red and make the flesh of it. Oh, she's got the dabbing down. And then once the paint is dry. I'm going for the way Carson did it. Because yeah, I like that. I'm about a three-year-old. Like <laughs> oh, this is cute. She's a pretty advanced three-year-old. Right. And um, then you just put drops of glue on it wherever you want your seeds. Yep. Oh, and then and the then seeds. take oh, on cool. the actual seeds. If you don't really? have seeds because you are a watermelon elitist and just eat seedless watermelon, ah. then you can just wait till the paint dries and draw it on with black pen. Peasants. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and good. if you make a lot of them, which you can see that they go really fast, you can staple them together and make a little watermelon garland and decorate Aww. with them. It's very easy. <laughs> there you go. So you can actually do a lot of math with watermelon and estimating. So what you mm -hmm. would do is just make a slice of the mm -hmm. watermelon and count how many seeds were in the slice. And to do that easily, you use these little bathroom cups and put them in sets of 10. Right. Then that way it makes it easy to count. Oh. And then judging from how much was in one seed, estimate how much is in the rest of the watermelon, and then, of course, you have to eat it right. while you try to find out the answer. Absolutely. It's kind of like how, they, how Nielsen surveys Exactly. It, it really, it actually is. I know. It really it's is. It's an estimate. The last thing we have is because we want to eat watermelon is to make a watermelon ice cream cone. So I'll let you make your own, but the first thing that we do is stick some cream cheese frosting in the bottom of the cone. It doesn't, oh. actually, doesn't actually have anything to do with making it work right. It, it just, just tastes, tastes right. Good. right. Like and idea. then some just regular, I'm using vanilla, but any flavor will do, ice cream. And then what I'll have you guys do is each make a, take a scoop of that and you I'm just going to enjoy then. your work because we are out oh. of time. But we do need to tell you this. You guys have a, uh, an activity coming up for the young folks. Uh, coming up this weekend, uh, Mensa for Kids, a special test session that's next well, week. The test session is on August 13th, and okay. it's adults. We test only people 14 and up. Okay. In fact, we have special invitations for the two of you yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> to come and test with us. Yeah. And, I will uh, fail. I have to really tell you that much. No, there's no <laughs> failure. There are just different degrees of success. I'll, I'll sharpen my number two <laughs> pencil for that. We've got uh, a link to Mensa on our website, myfoxdfw.com.